The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has spoken further in its statement that polls will not hold in 240 polling units across 28 states. Director of Security, INEC, Labari Unda, said as voters refuse to migrate to the units, the commission has no choice than to leave out the units during elections until people are ready to vote from the units. He, however, said the polling units are not being delisted. It will be a waste of time for INEC to send men and materials to that place. It will be a waste of resources. So because people are not there to vote, INEC will not send people there for now. If after these elections, people are ready to migrate there or to move there, we'll send people to be there. They are not delisting the polling units. They are still part of the access to voting that INEC created 25 years after the last exercise was done. So we cannot undo what we have done. We'll keep it until people are ready to go there to vote. And one of the reasons why people gave for not going there is because of incessant insecurity. Nobody wants to lose his life or her life because he wants to go and vote. And so that's the reason we are given. We can't force people to go there. But if after speaking now, and we have people who are going there because INEC is also still persuading people, holding stakeholders' conferences and meetings to see if people will be willing and ready to go there to vote. Once that is done, we'll get people informed and they'll go there to vote. Except that with 11 days to the election, it will be very difficult to get people to vote in the presidential election. Perhaps if people make up their mind to go there for the gubernatorial and House of Assembly elections in the 28 states where gubernatorial elections will take place and FCT, I mean in the 28 states, we will do that. Speaking on Plus TV's Do Breakfast, Ndu assured that INEC will not disenfranchise Nigerians. INEC is not and will not disenfranchise Nigerians who come out to vote. Like the chairman said, the only reason why a man cannot vote, the process has been made easy. The only reason why you cannot vote is if you forgot your face at home. Because we now have two criteria, either the biometrics or the facial. So if you forgot your face at home, then you cannot vote. If the biometrics doesn't work, then your face will be there. And once you are accredited, identified as having the INEC permanent voters card, of course, we'll be giving a ballot paper to go and vote. So INEC will not disenfranchise, has no intention of disenfranchising people because it is not our character but to do that. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.